Hey Miracle Team! Today we're diving into the world of a highly adaptable, aggressive, and beginner friendly ant species, Lassius emarginatus. This thermophilic species is a true powerhouse in the ant world, capable of dominating other colonies and forming impressive foraging trails. But how do you successfully keep them in captivity? Let's find out. Lesius emarginatus is a medium-sized ant, with workers measuring between 2.4 and 3.9 millimeters, while the queen can reach up to 9 millimeters. Unlike some more discrete species, this one thrives in warm, dry, urban environments. You'll often find them nesting in cracks in buildings, under stones, in walls, or even along sidewalks. Their nesting behavior is particularly interesting because they can establish satellite nests, a phenomenon known as polydomy. This allows a single colony to spread across multiple locations, optimizing their expansion. When it comes to colony size, they don't hold back. A mature colony can grow to tens of thousands of workers. This translates into highly aggressive and territorial behavior. These ants will fiercely defend their territory and don't hesitate to attack other colonies. When foraging, they form long, organized trails, which are truly fascinating to observe in captivity. Now let's talk about food. Lassius emarginatus is an omnivore but it has a strong preference for sugary liquids, especially honeydew from aphids. In captivity, you'll need to provide plenty of sugar-rich foods, such as pseudo-honeydew, diluted honey, fruit, or beetle jelly. However, they also require protein. Freshly killed insects are essential for the colony's growth. And one crucial detail, young colonies are prone to drowning, so always provide liquids on cotton or in specialized feeders. Reproduction occurs during nuptial flights from June to early September, usually in the evening or at night. Once mated, the queen starts a new colony completely alone, using a fully claustral strategy, meaning she doesn't need external food during this phase. Lassius emarginatus is a monogen species, meaning there is only one queen per colony. Their biological cycle follows an endogenous heterodynamic rhythm, meaning they require diapause during the winter. To ensure a healthy colony, you must keep them at four to 10 degrees Celsius for about 3.5 to four months. This resting phase is crucial for their long-term development. Now let's move on to captive care. The good news, Lazius emarginatus is easy to keep, making it a great choice for beginners. They tolerate minor mistakes as long as some key conditions are met. The ideal temperature range is 20 to 26 degrees Celsius, and the nest humidity should be maintained between 20 and 45%. Unlike some species that tend to chew through materials, a standard unreinforced setup is sufficient, making the installation process much simpler. A nest made of aerated concrete, acrylic, or even a simple test tube setup will work just fine. To sum it up, Lassius emarginatus is a fantastic species, robust, active, and easy to care for. Their territorial behavior and organization make them a fascinating species to observe, and keeping them is relatively straightforward as long as you provide proper diapause and a well-balanced diet. If you're looking for an energetic, fast-growing species that's perfect for beginners, this is an excellent choice. So let me know in the comments, have you ever spotted this species in the wild, or are you already keeping a colony? Feel free to share your experience. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you soon for another Myromecological Adventure.